pumping water faster than it can be replaced. Now, much of Arizona gets its water from the ground, and some experts say the lack of groundwater rules is sucking aquifers dry. Investigator Courtney Holmes finds out how we got here and what can be done to fix it. The CAP canal was built to transport Colorado River water from Lake Mead to your tap. But to get that deal done, this state had to make a lot of compromises. One of them was that groundwater in urban areas would be regulated, but in rural areas like here in Cochise County, it would be left alone. And for a while it worked, but not anymore. With a mega drought across the West, Arizona is hardly the only state with water supply issues, but experts say it is unique. The really striking thing about Arizona is that there's no one in charge for a lot of the state. That's Rebecca Nelson. Her Stanford University Research Group released this report comparing groundwater law for states in the West. And she's talking about Arizona's policy that allows rural groundwater to be pumped infinitely. I guess I would characterize Arizona as Swiss cheese. There's a lot more hole than there is cheese. The cheese, these areas where there is regulation of groundwater pumping. That's most of Maricopa, Pinal, Pima, Santa Cruz counties, and Prescott. The holes, nearly the entire rest of the state where agricultural wells can pump as much as they want. Eventually though, as water levels decline, people's wells can go dry. And they are in communities all around Arizona. But over pumping the ground is not new here. Prior to the 1970s, groundwater was used almost exclusively, and aquifers were draining quickly. We knew we had to get something done. Kathleen Ferris is a fellow with ASU's Kyle Center for Water Policy now. But in the late 1970s and 80s... That's what the Central Arizona Water Project looks like, and water is our topic. Joining us now in our studios is Kathleen Ferris. Who's it was her job to help Arizona get groundwater usage under control. The Secretary of the Interior said, if you don't pass a groundwater management act, then I'm not going to continue to push for funding and completion of the Central Arizona Project. And few things were more important than Central Arizona Project, which would build a series of canals and aqueducts to deliver Colorado River water to the valley. After four attempts, the Groundwater Management Act of 1980 was drafted. But there was a catch. A lot of rural areas did not want to be included. They did not want the regulation. To seal the deal, Swiss cheese. The most densely populated basins became regulated active management areas. Everywhere else did not. It's a trade-off that paid off until about 10 years ago, when out-of-state farms started moving into those unregulated areas and I call it industrial agriculture. It's not family farms. It's big corporate farming, bringing massive amounts of new land into cultivation and growing completely on groundwater. An unsustainable situation, according to Ferris, with limited time and few options to fix it. We have to get our legislature to act. It's as simple as that. Courtney Holmes, ABC 15, Arizona.